you are listening to Capital Extra. You got Yinka here, and I am joined by Miguel. Can we all make some noise, please? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Good. Good. Happy good. To be here. So you've been in the UK for a few days now, haven't Double you? Couple days, yeah. And you did a uh, cheeky show on Monday. That's right. And then last night, the thing is, what happened actually, yeah, was Manny Norte from Capital Extra invited me out. Yeah. Nice. And I was like, oh, do you know what? I'm going to have a bit of an early night. Right. Then on Instagram this morning, I've opened it up and you have just taken over, <laughs> had a little sing along and I've never <laughs> had sort of like so much FOMO in my life. So how was last night? Did you have oh, a good time? Night? Oh, at the spot. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was nice. It was nice. I was in and out. I had to be up early. Yes. So uh, I kept it light. Yeah. <laughs> but I was I think responsible. It's so, it's so nice to like... Um, meet someone who um you're because obviously i think we're safe to say that you're a professional singer and uh Francis. but but you you seem to love what you do so much yeah like I, I can see it like you know when i look at your instagram or, or, or twitter or something it's like you seem to love what you do I do, do, you, do, 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 I how, do how do you keep like the passion kind it's of like going um i mean i've 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 been in love with music since i you know i, I can remember so I don't think I'll ever lose that, you know? I think when, you, when you're when you able to find um, something that makes you feel good um, and a way to express yourself, it's just, it's kind of like a, not, it's just kind of like a reciprocating thing. You know, the more and more you feed it um, and do it, it just keeps on going. Yeah, so the yeah. momentum is awesome. And plus I have like really incredible fans who kind of, you know, allow me to do whatever I yeah. want to do, you know? <laughs> so it's all, it's all a win for me and, um, I think that's what it is, really, really. For me, you're the sort of artist that you're not... I wouldn't say, like, you're restricted by a certain genre. Like, when you sing, I feel like it speaks to speaks to people anyway. But the no. the sound, I don't feel like you're going to be like, oh, it's R&B, it's soul, it's this, it's that. Right, it's, it's just like, it's that like music, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, do you feel pressure, like, when you're, when you're releasing any kind of project or song? Like, if it's different, do you feel like, oh, my fans may not get it? Or is there any, like, ever, like, a thought in your uh, mind of that? I mean, I think we have um, teams of people around us that kind of, that they kind of figure that like part out. They try like... and help you. No, I think, I mean, if you have the right team, they're the ones that are going to help figure out how to help the, help your fans embrace it, you yeah, know, and, yeah, and yeah, how yeah, to position yeah. things. Um, but it's not my job to, to kind of do that. No, no, you know it I isn't. Mean? So I think I've, I've, um, there's a time when I was thinking that way, you know, I think, it's more important for artists regardless of what what their medium is is to just stay almost so focused on whatever it is that we are however we see the world or how we want to see the world yeah um so that it finds the right people because the more and more we chase the someone else's what what other people might think or might like i think the less uh, honest the expression becomes yeah and then it, it's it just you know, we're not being what we're here to do and that is to be like a vessel of, yeah. of, of the message, whatever the message is, you know what I'm saying? I think that uh, it can be so easy to kind of like, um, to like lose yourself as well in in people kind of like agreeing with what you're doing or like, or like acceptance. Yeah. If you're constantly looking for people like, oh, do they like it? Do they like it? Do they like it? Yeah. What you're actually trying to do could, could become lost. It's real. Sort of on the way. It's real. I mean, I know, I know from pers personal experience that you, the more and more you chase outside what, what is, you're trying to chase the energy, mm. the less you're able to take in the energy yeah. that's really already there for you, you know? It wastes, it's like such a waste of time. Yeah, you know? no, I hear y'all. Yeah. And you see when it comes to like collaborations and stuff, because you've worked with some sick people and especially on this new record that you have with Travis Scott. Yeah. Um, how do you sort of like, not pick, but how do you decide who you're going to feature with or feature on? How, how does that happen? Um, normally it's just, it's, what feels, I guess, is the gut instinct kind of yeah. thing. You know what I mean? And who, yeah. and who I actually vibe with. I think that's, that has a lot to do with it. I actually keep my feet, you know, I, I don't really feature on too many No, no, but yeah. that's good though. Yeah, yeah, but I do, but I'm open to it. I'm yeah. open to collaboration. I love it. I, I really do. I just, um, music is such a personal thing. At, at least like just creating, mm. and just being in a creative space is personal. Um, so I like to be around people that make me feel comfortable and that are going to inspire me and hopefully I inspire them. You yeah, know? no, I hear Or that. something about them is like inspiring yeah, to me, yeah. you know? And so um, I've been pretty lucky, you know? I've been lucky to, to be around really inspiring people and, and to have been a part of their creative process too in the, in the uh, in exchange. It's, it's, been, it's been fun. Is there anyone that's sort of like you haven't had a chance to work with yet or like is on your like list or something that you would like to 
Oh, there's a lot. There's plenty. <laughs> I mean, there's so many, you know. There's so many sick people around at the moment that... Yeah, yeah. It's... And there's so many... I mean, it's crazy. There's so... I mean, we... There's there's a lot of artists that I just don't know about yet, you know. Mm. But um, but of the artists that I know of, there's plenty of artists that I haven't... I mean, um, Ed Sheeran is someone that I'd yeah. like to work with, man. He's And and just meeting him as a person is, is probably what makes me, like, more so. Um... Uh, I haven't collabed with Jay yet. No, um, no. Uh, who? I mean, there's there's a lot. I could, I could, we could go. <laughs> we could, this could be a really long. I've conversation. got like a proverbial, pro proverbial got there in the end. Proverbial yeah, list. Yeah, yeah. I struggle with words sometimes. No, you know, like the big I'm words as well. Like it's so frustrating. <laughs> I said frustrating, right though. So it's yeah, calm. you got it right. You're good. But I, 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 I have like a little bit of a list of UK people that I think that you would. Oh. Vibes quite well with. I don't know how familiar you are with the UK music scene. A little bit. Becoming We're pretty more awesome. Familiar. Yeah. No. Hundred yeah. percent. We're pretty all 100%. right. Uh, there's a lovely lady called Steph London who okay. is um, like a rapper and she's got a really good singing voice as well. Amazing. And I think that you two would collab very lovely together. Thank you for putting on my re yeah, radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and if it does See, happen, I she's said, welcome. I almost said radar instead of radar. <laughs> Well, you know, at least I know I'm not alone because Miguel you know, has so trouble good. with words too. It's good, yeah. And um, I also think there's a guy uh, called Mo Stack as well. Okay. And I think that you and him would... Those are probably my top two for you. MC? Yeah, MC. So if you take anything from our chat today, it's Mo Stack and Steph London. Mo Stack? Yeah, they would go very well with you. Noted. Trust. <laughs> so Trust. You are, um, you're in the UK. Of course, you're doing a show tonight as well. Yeah, we play a show tonight. Um, what's the venue called? Yeah, it's it's like a we're doing like um I want to do something kind of intimate, you yeah. know. I haven't been here in a while, so I like to just just kind of reconnect with like it's like a refresher, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. For I know what you mean. Really, really, you know, really, really down and and really writing and have been writing and 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 so they're the ones that end up getting the tickets. For, do you know? First. Um, the first time I ever saw you live was now I'm gonna take it all. I think it might have been like five years ago. Mm. I think maybe more and you did a really small show in proud camden yeah and um yeah and it was like the it was one of my first experiences of like an artist who is like from across the pond doing a small venue yeah. and it was the sickest thing ever so when i found out today that you're doing a smaller venue <laughs> i thought those people are in for like the biggest treat yeah because hearing you live but small as well is just it's just wicked like how how do you prepare for for a show that isn't like an arena is it different to very different it's actually more fun an arena is like really all about the show you know yeah. it's like the showmanship of it yeah, and like big the, the production can confetti be confetti and like yeah, 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 yeah. Um, although we I don't think we'll ever get to confetti <laughs> um, I'm more of like a pyro if anything. <laughs> as long um, as you don't do glitter though Right. Yeah, because yeah, glitter, yeah. like... You don't think so? No, because I like... Was, I was considering glitter, though. I feel like you're being sarcastic. I, but, why would I ever be sarcastic? Okay, again, like, I don't know why you're doing this to me. <laughs> I, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, no, glitter is not good because, yeah, someone, one of the presenters at this station uh -huh. gave everyone Christmas cards and you opened them and they had glitter in them. And producer Rob over there has still got glitter in his in his keyboard from it's last the year. Worst. Yeah. Yeah, you find it in your bra, in your pants, in your socks. <laughs> For weeks after you don't want it. So Yeah, I never want to find glitter, glitter in my bra. In your bra. Ever. No, you don't at I all. Hope I ever. never do. Um, <laughs> but continue. So it's different to a to an arena. Yeah, yeah. hundred percent. It's, it's definitely um it's more about like the connect because I can um you know, it's just everyone is so much closer and the room is smaller. Um, just being able to, it's its big enough to, you know, to be able to move and yeah. to get, you know, to, to have some production. But I think it just allows a, a little bit more of a personal connection and, and it feels more conversational yeah, for me yeah. anyway. Um, and I like to build a show that way, you know. Um, that's, that's my favorite part. I love arena shows too. Yeah. I love that. It does allow you to stretch on the production and whatnot. But yeah. There's just something about the feel of, of kind of being um, just like, you know, arms arms length away. Yeah, from, like from closer to, to someone. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. I yeah. It's, it's a great feeling. Um, so I'm a presenter, mm -hmm. <laughs> obviously. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> When's the real person going to get here? <laughs> <laughs> no. So I'm a presenter, no. right? Yeah. And But so obviously I talk and talk and talk and talk for a living. And um, when I go home or when I'm like around friends and stuff, I tend to be like the more quiet one. So mm -hmm. like, I won't necessarily like have a chat with like, even when I'm out, like I'm, I'm a bit quiet. You're a professional singer, but I you just... sing and sing and sing and sing. And like I said before, it's like the love that you have for it. Yeah. So 
like I watched a few of your Twitter videos and stuff and even when you were walking across the corridor mm. coming up here you're always singing well, you, have you always been like that have you always been like kind of yeah I've always uh, I just love music um, I don't sing as much as I used to but um, I, I yeah I always kind of have, have melodies in my head or yeah. hearing music that I love you know playing so um, I guess I guess it's just a part of it's very very cute Thank you. Yeah, just Thank you heard you. it here from me. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> and you've got um, this new song as well with Travis Scott. Yeah. How yeah. did this happen? Um, it really just came about because, uh, see, we had done a collaboration before for a remix that we did, and that was why he was on the top of my, kind of at the top of my mind, just because we never got a real legitimate like single off or a song that, that no one had ever heard before. It was a remix that we collaborated mm -hmm. uh, on before. And he was just really, um, he was just down for the remix. So I was like, look, I told myself when we had another song that felt like it would be the right vibe, I would definitely hit, tra hit Trav. And, and I did, and he happened to make time for it. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. And has the has the reaction for it been? Did you do you expect anything? Like when you drop something, are you like, yeah, boom, a hundred million views? Did you have anything in your head that you want it to achieve, or do you just? I have both. I mean, I've experienced both sides. Yeah. So now it's, I don't expect anything. I just okay. at this point is just like, it's more of an exercise of, um, you know, commu like really being in touch with with fans and giving my fans something new, and this vibe is definitely something new for me yeah you know i think it's a new it's a new perspective for them to see me in and uh a lightheartedness that i don't think most people have seen me you know yeah at, at least my friends and my family know about me but my fans may may not have seen that um from me and so i think that was the funnest part about this so that that was kind of the intention behind that thing. i do think that it is a, um, a different perspective of you but also it's like a welcome one as yeah. well it's nice to see um you trying like different things and doing new things especially when they bang as well like it's that's also righteous, righteous. that's also a bonus yeah. it feels good it feels good <laughs> it feels really good <laughs> so can we expect like more things that sound like this or or are you just like going with the flow that's a i think um you know i'm i'm kind of all all over the place like uh definitely feel good yeah i always feel good but um i think this is a this is a moment and there's definitely other moments that um, I think we're going to spread along, you know, the next few months. And, and um, I'm excited about that because it just gives you variation. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we love variety. Yeah. You know, I think that's what makes everything interesting. And because everything is all accessible all at once, um, we look at, we look for music. We look uh for variation in, in our, in our I, I know I do. I like to hear an album that, you know, has variety. Yeah, you know definitely. You don't it's, want just like someone one tricking it the whole way through. Righteous, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's me. So, you know, I, I certainly, you know, attempt to do that with my music and I think that's what we do, we do best is, yeah. you know, give variation but there's always the through line which is me and, yeah. and my music and point of view yeah no that sounds that sounds lovely actually um when i when i, I mentioned it to a few people that i was um going to be having a chat with y'all and the the most frequent question that i've received is yes you did you're going to do an intimate show tonight but are you going to come back and give us a little bit more miguel are there any more shows on the on the horizon you know it oh i'm happy when because imagine you, know you went no nah. There are not. They're like, nah. <laughs> but get out. This is the only one. <laughs> no, I mean, eventually, um, this side of the year, though, I think this is the this is going to be the performance that kind of closes my year with mm -hmm. uh, on this side, unfortunately. But um, I don't plan on stopping doing this. Yay! For any time, anytime soon. So <laughs> we'll definitely be back. Um, and is there is there like an album on the way? So are you working towards? towards a bigger project absolutely um i'm a project i'm a album person you know no matter how the the industry changes and how the music business changes as far as how we consume or consumers you know are taking music in i'll always still make projects but um this is definitely leading to, towards yeah. a project yeah i wanted to ask you as well actually um speaking of like consuming music and stuff is it because as I'm, I'm a music consumer so i'm i'm I wouldn't say like the best kind, but I'm definitely up there, right? Because Righteous. I'll like stream on Spotify, but I'll definitely probably buy a physical copy if, if I love the artwork and no. then definitely buy the album on, on iTunes. Yeah. Just just so I have it yeah. in case Spotify want to be doing doing stuff. I don't right. know what they do sometimes. Right. Um, but as an artist, 
is it worrying the way the different because there's so many different ways to consume music via YouTube or physically or the radio or does it worry you that there's so many outlets or is it is it a good thing for you? I think it's a good it's a great thing over well listen it is the way it is. Yeah, yeah, it's, this is it now. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's good or bad. I think there there uh, there are really great things about it. And if you can figure out how, where you fit in and how you want to exist in the ethos of being a musician as an artist or, or whatever, mm -hmm. um, you just have to figure out what works for you. Yeah. You know? And I think that's the biggest challenge for artists now is to figure out what kind of artist they want to be. You know, I think there's artists that are doing incredible things just streaming no set like not selling yeah yeah yeah, and yeah. Who, are, who are able to make a living and to c continue to pursue their career and build their career and their fan base through streaming there are other artists who are you know who it's like really because it's selling selling albums is their thing yeah or radio is their thing yeah or you know however you get it i think it's just about you know artists being savvy now we just got to be, be you know we just got to be more savvy yeah and, and i think that's that's encouraging because it just pushes us to be more knowledgeable about the business of the whole thing and um you know that means less artists kind of ending up with nothing yeah, later on. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If, if they decide to be business people, businessmen about their, be, you know, business people about their, about their music. So um, I think it's a good pressure. Yeah. I want to thank you for joining me on oh, uh, Capital Extra. My and also, when you do come back, be it um, for the album tour, whatever it is, you have to come back and see me again. Yeah. And yeah. hopefully you would have met Steph and Mostak and something would have happened because I'm putting it out there in the universe because they're awesome. I like that. And Yay! Thank you, Miguel. Yeah, it's my pleasure.